So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Episode 4. Of course, playing with the Amadan Fantasy mod as Blumstead. Now, significantly larger than last time. But that just happens. We have uh, taken uh, Zunlip as our vessel. They are, of course, very unhappy about this whole situation. I can tell you that. Strangely enough. We will do our best to uh, mend this situation, of course, now that we have done all of that. We're still waiting for a bunch of events to finish up, we're still waiting for all of these conversions to finish up. But we're getting there, look at that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how are we looking here? We have some breathing room. Which means that we could potentially expand band slightly so let's get our armies around and fight someone else ex then Eodant for territory army reformer okay uh, da -da -da -da, I like none of you really but I guess we'll do with you Election 602, I think we're gonna go for the gamble. Okay. You're gonna stick around for a while. We have some admin to spare. We know where to invest that to. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, this is yeah, like this there's still so much work happening here. <laughs> we don't have religious ideas, like this is obvious that it takes so long. Oh, we don't even have infrastructure. Oh, I thought we have infrastructure, okay. My bad. But yeah, we do have more uh, a briefing room, we can do more biting. These guys are probably gonna be very unruly for a long time. Opinion does a lot. They don't have like crazy amount of- oh, they have 500 development. Okay, we do definitely need that uh, reduction here then. Large capital. Is our capital not that large? It is not. It's also expensive. There we go. My capital is large. I have a large capital. Don't care what anyone says. Alright. Uh, some generals disappearing. We can have another army with another leader, lovely. I mean, these armies work surprisingly well. <laughs> so... Can't, can't even click anything there. <laughs> uh, there's another dry key. What the fuck does the dry key constantly want with you? I don't know. Alright, do we have something new to accept? These guys don't want to turn into the right uh, culture. I hate it. Uh, this stuff is all still around. We don't really need to do anything for this, so this will be an indicator when things are done. I see one, two, three, four more provinces that need to be converted. Five. Heavy at work. Uh, no. Excess plums. Money. Let's see if we can finally finish this up. I don't think so, but... It's gonna be another heavy swath of investment. Ah, close to getting all of that. We're also getting closer towards the next supply increase, so we can have bigger armies, and we'll see what we do with it then. I feel like 8, uh, eight infantry is, uh... It's gonna be substantial. Uh, 8 cavalry is gonna be substantial, isn't it? That feels substantial. So, we've done the coring, we've done all of that. I think we just do that, right? Tamadia? You, al you allied with Dreton! That is amazing! That is actually really good for us. <laughs> 
So, a Threaton probably has a big navy. Doesn't. Demaria also doesn't. Uh, do I wait for more? Because I feel like I should. But I don't. I, I can't really wait for more. So the problem is, we cannot do anything about this stuff here. But we don't... We might need to. I might actually also just go for West Timberford instead. So we have the connection here. You guys have 24 boats. That's the question, what kind of boats? West Timberford. You have no... Oh, you have a lot of... Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna wait for these... Uh, uh, these heavies to be finished. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for these heavies to be finished. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Get over here. We're gonna start- we're gonna continue building heavies, but... Jesus Christ. So, let's just quickly eat these guys up. I guess you guys can actually come over here. Oh, you need to run through this anyway? Okay. Not sure what you guys are doing and why you have no morale, but I'll take it. Uh, we have this as well. Debate, what's going on? We're still not done with the government reform stuff, actually. We could get rid of our Diplo reputation penalty, or we could just take military points. I think we actually do this. Okay, placate, local autonomy, that, that, placate. Alright. <coughs> Just do some work. Oh, West Timberford also owns all this, uh, the stuff all the way over here. But I do want something else first. Can I take this? Is that... Okay, we can take this, that's good. Then I would also immediately attack up cost, actually. Just so that, that, that it's done. Tretton also owns this. Okay, we do need all of this coastline to get these guys. So that was the right decision. We're gonna quickly eat them up, and then we'll see what else we have to do up there. Ah, uh, you guys come over here. We're just gonna quickly clean this up here so that there is no... Uh, Access uh, that is gonna spawn from behind us. Didn't even check what kind of debate bonuses I get. I don't care. These guys. I mean, I did have the thingy event pop up that made all everybody the same color. The colonial. I still regret that. So. From subjects development. That is not gonna fix this. But it's gonna reduce that to a point where it's reasonable to go away. So. You guys just quickly make sure that you have this stuff as well. I'm not even sure if I can take the conquer them fully. Uh, this goes all the way over here. And there is their army. I see. That should be alright, right? I mean, they did run away from me. Okay, yeah, this looks alright. That uh, could be better, to be honest. Could be a lot better. But hey. So be it. Uh, we cannot walk through you for some reason. God dang it. Uh, sure, I guess we'll do it that way then. Let's hope that this is not gonna be too silly. Uh, you could just stick there, we do not have anything else to do with you anyway. Oh god, I barely have any. <laughs> right. Well, it's gonna take a hot second, but we do need that capital. Actually, you guys come over here, and you guys do this then. Oh no! Okay. Uh, you guys... Retreat! <laughs> I don't think that you will make that, right? 
Probably not. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. Get the coal in. When we both have a heavy. Oh, she's making this. Aha! Psych, you thought. Change of plans, then you guys drop these guys down here. Didn't expect that to go that way. Oh, we're done. Okay. Uh, we still need to get army over here, so let's repair you guys for a second. Keep this army safe, somewhat safe at least. Oh, just quick reduction here. So, uh, get the army over, and then we can just uh, th then we can just fight them from this side. That also works. That also works. We don't have any uh, yeah boats left. That's unpleasant. Uh, you guys get your <laughs> general back. You're not getting attacked without one. Ah, uh, just two more. Dreams of Liberty and Dreton. Alright, that's fantastic. So we do need to kill some stuff here. Sorry about that. Oh, also... Done this. Guess we've done this. Time to build many factories. We still have a lot of new territory that can be financially exploited. Uh, not sure why we cannot merge you, but... I guess... Growth of tribal influence. Alright. Let's see. I hope that we can take all of this. Would be upset if not. I assume that there's gonna be some armies on these islands as well. Because that's what they are usually does. So. For annexation. Uh, yeah, nobody of importance cares. Yoink. They were centralizing some funny stuff. Alright. I think for this one we do need another army. The Hildia is not something that we care about, right? No. Let's just get enough army in for this experience. There is plenty of separatists, actually. <laughs> Alright. I think we need to do some work then. Oh, sure. Is the thingy over? Nope, still not. I'm, I mean, I could do this more targeted, but I'm kind of doing it uh, nilly-willy. So. Uh, sure, just get some dudes over while you guys are going for the next thing. Do need to clean that up a little bit. I hope that these are not the... Uh, not the uh, uh, spawn points. Of all of this fun stuff. <laughs> so, and back home you go. Had your fun. At some point, these guys also need to be repaired. I mean, we should now have a decent uh, uh, influx of all of that. One, two, three. Ah, sure. Just gives this guy some stats. So. Uh, up cost. Do you have a lot of army, actually? Murder. We're not gonna immediately jump your army here. That makes no sense. But you have separatists. Okay, you guys are gonna hit me there for a second. I'll allow it. That is going surprisingly... Uh, hmm. I mean... Could argue about the success of this. Just gonna gaslight myself that I won this actually. <laughs> uh, you need your uh, thingy back. 
Uh, force March. Uh, you also need Force March. Didn't realize that. Let's just march into these guys. I mean, this is all fairly large territory anyway. Do, 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 do. And this should also not be taking too long. All right, there we go. Clues and research. If you want to find out why the dome was moved, we must find a place from where it was moved. And to do that, we need we will need more support. You will employ the high prices mines the UOTD has to offer to find out where the damned dome originally stood. Geologists, Britologists and archaeologists will be hired to pinpoint where that glimmering enigma was first laid. It must be done if we are to unravel the mysteries of the Protosada. We get uh, yeah, another bunch of reduction. Oh, we do need to wait again. Fuck off. Alright, wait again. Let me just position an army in the capital so that we uh, can immediately react to this if it pops up. Fun. Lots of fun. Waiting is one of the best mechanics in a game. <laughs> Clearly. Don't you also just sometimes just want to wait? Like, just like, oh, this is like some, some really, oh, this is some good waiting. Love it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've waited that, w that good. Been a hot minute. Alright, we're gonna move in with, yeah, armies kill. No issue with that. They're basically already done, so before they get their armies back, let's eat. All of this nonsense. Yum, 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 yum. So, this one as well, and this one as well. Full annexation. Then we just have the Merdia and the... Uh, into that one left. Pearl Sedge feels dead, but nobody else. Yeah. Look at that. That's how things are supposed to look like. All right. This is gonna take a hot, uh, a hot while to get integrated. You guys ran past me. I'm called for. And we're gonna put this army here. You guys here. And we'll see when we need you next. For now we do need to get some... Oh, wow. You know what? Yeah. We need to wait for a while anyway. You might as well take that then. You also have a bunch of money here. You know what? If we have to wait anyway, just throw all of the funny stif stuff at it. Let's also do this. You know what? You guys as well. What is this? You guys don't have not built that area yet? That's embarrassing. Do some work. So. I mean, I think we fa fairly chunked up on this one. Let's get the navy back over. Just to unite, yes. Now we do need to wait for some more. There should be another boat on, on the way, right? Yeah. Nearly finished. Expedition, glues and research. For weeks I have been working or, uh, hard already. For uh, for weeks, Typhon and Milan had been working hard to piece together a route. Using the glues in the different SATA scriptures and the many reports and stories from the natives gave them a good overview, though they were not ready yet. But as they were studying, the government got impatient and demanded the expedition to leave as quickly as possible. Both the university and the professor urged the government to remain patient, as the expedition might fail. At a month, the government rest on, warning, wanting to see results, not vague promises. Frustrated, the research team had to make a choice. Would they start the expedition now or just ignore the impatience of the government? I'm the fucking government. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh... Okay, let's take some debt. What the fuck? That is some. That is. That is. Uh. Yeah. You know what kind of money that is? That is. That is dwarven. Uh. uh Horde curse money that I've just spent on that. <laughs> Why did I just pay money to myself? <laughs> uh. 
Uh, you guys are building a coalition against me. Are you? That's silly. Fellow point. I'll see if we can just uh, get this stuff back in. Oh, thanks. Ivan and Typhon have been realizing in the mess hall of the party before that when you walked in a weathered f uh, uh, in a weathered face, ears with cuts and parts missing, and a glass eye. He approached the two men, removed his cloak, and introduced himself. I am Odin, and I would like to join your expedition. A bit baffled by the brazenness of his disada, every replied. And why should we do that? Odin smiled, took a chair, and in a very slow and raspy voice replied, I know those mounts, like my backpack. I found exotic animals and creatures which do not exist outside of those peaks, and I know how to kill them. Something that you will need. I will. I do not ask much, only that I can keep whatever beast we've hunted whole. I will even bring my own wagon with tools and arms to fight them. I agreed, though Typhon asked what those beasts were, to which Aaron, with a wildly covered smile, replied, If I tell you now, then you won't, won't want to go into those mountains. I re revealed the uh, expedna. Uh, cool. <laughs> I didn't have that yet. Okay, we're now just gonna get a fucking array of events, I guess. For hours they argued while Milan waited, not wanting to get between the professor and the captain. Ari was furious. He had expected that his own personal adventure band was to go along with them. It made sense. Typhon reminded uh, him that he had hired Ari, not his whole band. The, the two men were angry as both felt cheated by the other. Fed up, Millen scolded them both and said that they should make up their minds before the whole expedition went to ruins. Shocked though, also impressed by the young student's boldness, they nodded. Typhon made it clear that he preferred soldiers from the army to go along with them as the government was the largest sponsor of the expedition, while Avery insisted on the use of his own men as he was to lead the expedition. Not able to get to the, the compromise, they asked Millen to decide with the promise to respect the decision. Uh, like, I did not have a decision there, so whatever. Oh, what's this event? <laughs> I just have a bunch of... Uh, we will see what if the coalition goes away after a while. Then it is settled. Professor Typhon and the Professor Sumanjiel shook hands and gave a little bow. A little bow. Ari, who just came walking in, couldn't believe his eyes. Is that Arc Provost Emeritus Sumantriel? The elven rector that came up with Alan Tierdi language tree? Tyofan nodded. He's my old professor and he's coming with, her, with us. You could really use somebody who knows the intricacies of language and the clues and hints that, that hide in them. Ari looked confused as he thought that Tyofan was the leading expert on the ex Epetna, to which Tyofan simply replied that history is linked to linguistics, it is not, that it is, is not the same thing. Professor Sumantiel, who was bored of his, ex his retirement and his grandchildren, had personally requested Typhon if he could join the expedition in exchange for getting the right to research any linguistic treasure that they may find in the world. It feels so weird how uh, this whole, like this event chain, turned from we are a nation to we're just some guys in a, in a university. That feels a bit odd, not gonna lie. Alright. But we have some idea cost reduction. Jesus Christ, give me a second. You, yes, you. Get used to get used uh, get us the leader of the exposition immediately. Milon had only just woken up when he was approached by a group of a Petna riders. A female Petna led them and demanded they'd be taken to the professor and the captain. Milon, ever the only socially awkward person, nodded and called for a tyrophon. As the professor approached, he immediately started to talk in a Petnari tongue, get reading the young woman and thanking her for coming. He further explained, Milon, this is Adalon the Explorer. Atolon? That sounds... okay, that's a weird name. She is an old student of mine and is now one of the best explorers in the whole Yin and Expanse. She can help us find the pathway when we cannot see to find it. She will go along, paid with adventure and an excuse to get away from the arranged marriage, but don't tell anybody else about it. Sure. Once again, this feels uh, a bit different. Funnily enough, that Mahdi didn't join the coalition, so... <laughs> I see. That, then I don't really care. Oh, wait a second. Okay, that is just... Uh... I mean, the, the, the money is... Okay, that, that joined. But it's not gonna be for long. I hope. The thing is, like, even if they declare warn me, what are they gonna do? <laughs> I don't feel like this is really gonna uh, get them anywhere, being at war with me. A 
As long as I just defend my coastline, I feel very safe. Oh, you just freed someone else again? You guys are doing such little conquests, it's ridiculous. Uh, you guys are not willing because we lost. We own a lot of cores from you. Uh, can we get our guy under control? We can do something else here that I've... Oh wait, the favors all went away. Well, that's shit. Well, let's get it back. Okay, Swemmel is one of the important ones. Let's see. Swemmel. Here. Gatomarsh. Gatomarsh. Well, that's a very creative name. Mokbaya. Maybe I'm gonna do this directly. Because this looks like... Yeah, this looks like a while until it actually happens. Alright, we're gonna pull on one... We're gonna pull one off. I guess we also should start repaying the loans. Yeah. So, uh, da -da -da -da. where is it? Gato March. Oh, they are already getting converted. Then Mogbaya. Right? Right. <coughs> okay, that is uh, being faster than what we do. And I guess with that we can also just uh, put you back in charge here. So we become a bit bigger. Let's not forget that we also have some more stuff to do here. All of the stuff that is not currently uh, busy building like furnaces and stuff. <laughs> Okay, but the money is floating in now. We could technically build up the hegemony. If Bavadi wouldn't uh, have it. So we will never get that, sadly enough. Because I'm not gonna go over and fight the Bavadi. That will not happen. Uh, we can upgrade this again. We are gonna invest that, obviously. Uh, Diplo points around again. Still one whole thing away. So we'll do that. All right. <coughs> Just keep getting more income. Okay, but slowly but surely we can make use of all of this. Uh, do we have any cultures that popped up? No, we are full anyway. Well, it's a shame. I mean, eventually we are just gonna fight Tamaria on this. Uh, we are getting some stuff in here, which is nice. With enough boats, uh, enough sailors, not boats. Okay. But we are just kind of uh, uh, scratching on the governing capacity constantly. Then I want to uh, try to ally the Cavalians at some point. Well. Okay, we still have 11 loans. <laughs> uh, we're just waiting for that modifier to be gone so we can redo the modifier and then have to wait again, right? Looking forward to that. Now uh, we are gonna just do this, right? Does this work on these guys? Because technically they're not on the same continent, right? Yeah. Well, <coughs> what's happened to my Diplo reputation? Okay, we still have the next subject and uh, everything. I see. There is a bit more. Uh, military again, we can also take this if we wanted and of course we will do all of this all of this new land needs some decent development <coughs> uh, 
Um, this is not, of course, this is still a little bit away. Sure. Do, 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 do. I think we should also no longer collect here in the broken sea. We should collect here in the lair. So, draw spray, we cannot really make any use yet. So, this doesn't matter. You guys don't matter much. There is a lot of uh, uh, stuff happening here. Propagate religion, of course. There we go. Roofing of the Blums. Let's get some points. Uh, no. Are we getting closer towards not a leader? Oh well, somewhat. This is of course is still building that furnace, right? Yeah, so. Oh, but we're nearly finished, so we kind of made it timely. Obviously, and we're not gonna state anything yet. We do still have a potential fight against Vela Point to expand, but of course, like I said, we need to wait for things. Hey, there we go. The winning argument. <coughs> okay, we're gonna quickly read through that. The debate has ended and the true faith has won. Aurelianism has won not through needless violence or incoherent, albeit entertaining preaching. No, our faith has won because it has been, it has the best arguments. That's the fucking silliest thing I've ever heard. It is, a f it is a faith which is proven true by the continued unraveling of the world around it and which is strengthened by each scientific di discovery made, one which praises the one true God. We have one because we treat the theological and intellectual as intertwined. It is within that our faith strengthens science and science strengthens our faith. How do you, how do you think... Th uh, whatever. <laughs> yes, it's something very special. No one has done that. <laughs> Not a single faith uh, uh, connects science and... Though our realm may be convinced, we, ha we have a long road ahead of us. It's our sacred duty to spread the word of the Valiant Church to all corners of the Yin, for God wills it. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, we do get uh, uh, another missionary, so that's nice. And we immediately also can do all the other uh, missions here, so... I mean, I guess they are not even that... Yeah. We're gonna wait with that until next episode. So go always like, subscribe, and again, so I guess you guys next episode. Bye!